Frazier back for Northern Illinois. It's going Rudolph's way. He'll call for the fair catch. And so first up, we will get to see NIU. <laughs> He'll go out of the pistol and turn around and hand it off to Ontario Brown, who has over 1,000 yards rushing on the season, but they'll take two away from him here as Malik Straker comes in on the tackle. And right here uh, off the edge, and he is a great tackler, which is why they love playing him in that, that, that position. Lombardi over the top. They've got the first down. The catch is made at the 40. It's Grayson Barnes. Slot to your right. And Arkansas State playing zone coverage. And that is his, that's Rocky Lombardi's go-to target in zone coverage, especially. Third and eight from the 43. Lombardi near side, passes complete at the 50. And that's good enough for the first down. And came back, decided to come back to this team. Now, this is a great throw, an outbreaking route from Rudolph. The first third and long, Arkansas State plays zone coverage. This time third and long, they play man. Rocky Lombardi's play. They go play action here. Lombardi has all day. And somebody wide open. It's Grayson Barnes for his second catch of the afternoon as he goes to the 15. It starts with the protection. I mean, look at this clean pocket that Lombardi has. And he finds his receiver on a deep out breaking route. Just wide open. Bunch set to the left. The deep out route. The two other receivers take the top off of the coverage. Kind of open up that area to the sideline. Really nice. NIU two for two on third down. The soft touch to the back of the end zone, and it's a touchdown to Grayson Barnes, who's sixth in the back in touchdown catches. Well, we talked about the size advantage when targeting Grayson Barnes, and here it pays off. A huge size advantage here, and I love the jump ball, the approach on the throw from Rocky Lombardi. Throws it high to the back of the end zone where only Grayson Barnes can get it. And the placement on the throw. Rolling on the field is a touchdown. The previous play is under further video review. I mean, Leon Jones is right there in Grayson Barnes' hip pocket. You really can't play that any better. But the perfect throw beats perfect coverage. And that's a touchdown. And he gets his foot in. Sure does look like it. Just need one in college. That He's should stand. Secured the ball, got that foot down for his fifth touchdown catch. Well, you feel like you should get off the field. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. Touchdown. You know that's got to give Rocky Lombardi a lot of confidence, too. A snap. A hard hit, and he's going to be stopped short of the goal line. Travion Thomas in on the tackle and the stop. So it's 6-0 NIU at the 36. Greener flushed. Throwing back across the field to a wide open Courtney Jackson at the 32-yard line. They'll go quickly. Corey Rucker makes the grab. And another first down back to back as he takes it to the 17-yard line. Derek. Play action. Over the top of the pass thrown behind Jeff Foreman and picked off into the hands of Javon Bird out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, a second team all max selection. He's got his third INT of the year. Ball was, was tipped. It also looked like it was thrown just a little bit behind the receiver. Yeah, ball thrown just a little bit behind Jeff Foreman. He kind of tries to reach back and get his left hand on it, and in the process, tips it. And that allowed Javon Bird to get his hands on it and come up with an interception. I mean, what a change of, of momentum here after the past two throws by Jalen Rayner. I mean, they changed the. Lombardi flushed. Still got his eyes downfield. And momentum shifting back towards Arkansas State. Travion Thomas, INT number two on the year. Lombardi could have ran this. Third and four right here. He's got a bunch of green grass in front of him. And he's trying to get the ball to his tight end. Ball thrown just a little bit behind him. And it might have been enough for Thomas to get in there and intercept it. If he keeps him on the run there, this is a completion for a big play. Ball thrown a little bit behind ruling him. Ruling on the field is an interception. The previous play is after review. The ruling on the field stands. First down, Arkansas State. 
And the key word there is stands. They didn't have enough to change the call. Oh. They could not confirm it. So Jalen Rayner back to work. Going deep on the first play. Corey Rucker, why not take a shot? Welcome to bowl season, Jalen Rayner. 41 yards. Double move. This is called a sluggo, a slant, boom, and go. And there's the go part to it. And he was absolutely wide open. Jacob Finley bites on the slant route. And there is no help over the top. Great protection, great throw for a touchdown. PAT is up and good from Dominic Zavada. And the first. And here goes Rocky Lombardi. Pounding his way into the end zone. Well, they love using the size and the strength of the quarterback run game at 200. Lombardi, you get an extra hat, it kind of evens things out. You get two pullers, great kick out block by your tight end. And then a quarterback and a safety every day. Their first drive was 10 plays with a touchdown. This one, a nine play drive. Cannon Woodle for the PAT. Up and good. And I'm back to the game, it's third down for Arkansas State. Pass is caught by Jeff Foreman on the near sideline. First time trying to convert on fourth down. Zach Wallace gets the call. Doesn't get much help from the pile. I don't think he got it. It's an IU football. They get the stop on fourth down in the red zone. This is all about the defensive push, the defensive line surge for Northern. After review, the ruling on the field stands. First down, NIU. And Jim Schaefer, our replay official, didn't see enough to change the call either, hence the stands call. Well, if you like this, yeah. Lombardi flushed. Had to roll way back, throwing back across the field. Pass is. Arkansas State has done a really good job of kind of trying to keep Lombardi when he does flush out. He, he's having to move left to right instead of up in the pocket. This is a risky throw. 49. They fake it. The aggression continues. They got a first down. Go Cannon! To the end zone! The kicker's got speed! Williams is in the shotgun. Back to Lombardi. Up top to Rudolph. Into the corner of the end zone for two. Jeff Foreman making a guy miss, making two guys miss. Tripped up at the 30, pretty deep ball. You saw it there. Yeah, and this ball plays on the outside shoulder and Finley misses the tackle. I thought one of the big 53 this year. Way to go, way to go. Up and good. Play within the system, take what the defense gives you and manage the game. Take that, Ontario Brown. Across midfield. For Brown, and it's just the right side of this offensive line. Two really good double teams, and they leave the outside corner as the free guy. That's a matchup that any offensive court. Oh, and it doinks off a the- doinker. I know. Even the doinker made an appearance That's on today. us, that's on us. Lombardi with time, and it's picked off. Sammy Johnson back the other way for Arkansas State. And there's a flag down at the 45-yard line. Well, Lombardi trying to throw this post route over the top, but there's just kind of miscommunication on where the ball was going to be thrown. Holding. Offense number 69. That penalty is declined. The result of the play is first down, interception. He got it. 10 for 11 in his career from 45 plus. Lombardi in trouble. 
Still moving. Still keeping his eyes downfield. He gets the throw off and the catch is made. All kinds of scrambling and Rocky Lombardi looking like a seventh year player. How many times? One, two, three. I mean, how many times do these white jerseys think they've got him down? Does that count? He ran into his own guy? He ran into his own tackle. <laughs> and does all of it with the wherewithal to have his eyes down the field as he scrambles. What a play by Rocky Lombardi. Rainer dropped violently. Javon Bird, who had an interception early in this game. Point of the quarterback and running back. Here he is coming off the edge. And it kind of confuses Jalen Rayner. He probably should have handed this ball off. And if he does, it's, it's a much better. Play by player <laughs> analyst hat in his future. <laughs> so NIU forced to punt, and Arkansas State will let that one roll. What'd you think? Grayson Barnes breaking loose. Staying on his feet inside the 10. Which makes it feel like it's going to be a run. Play action pass. Slips his tight end. Barnes down the sideline for a big gain. The big 6'5 receiver. Excuse me, tight end who already has a touchdown catch on the day. They use him in a lot of different ways. This time attached on the line of scrimmage. Two in a row that Cannon Woodle has missed, both from inside the 30. Yeah, the, uh. Marty got help as he's rolling out. Ways. Third down here. Kyle Thomas has the grab, but he's going to be short of the first down. I mean, this is close. Yeah. Marty finds a dig route over the middle. And Thomas. Hammock has gone for it before in these situations. Ball on their side of the 50s, so if they don't get this, I mean, you're... Arkansas State's last appearance in a bowl was here in 2019 in the Camellia Bowl, which they won. In the air, Corey Rocker to the 46-yard line. It's a 32-yard pickup. Rainer now with his legs. Middle of the field, still up. Busting through a defender, goes right through Javon Burr. Guess who? Willing his way into the end zone is Corey Rucker. Rucker is cover zero, all out blitz. The young freshman quarterback knows he's got to get rid of the ball. Finds his receiver, and Javon Bird misses the tackle on the perimeter for Northern L. Rainer in the back of the end zone and overthrows Reagan Ely. And that's exactly what we get. And there's a flag out. It popped off of an NIU player recovered by Arkansas State, but we'll see what the flag is. Offside, kicking team, number 11. Five-yard penalty will re-kick. Side again. This time it's caught by NIU. And they hold on to the football. You can hear the boos from the Arkansas State fans. Butch Jones still giving that side judge an earful. On the offsides call. It, 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 that is, that's going to be a call that's, that's going to haunt Butch Jones. All Thomas Hammock gets the Gatorade bath, the ice water bath. He talked about, we want to win a championship. We want that Camellia Bowl trophy. And they're going to get it here today in Mobile. Yeah, what a great game. And what an incredible finish, and hats off to Northern Illinois on an incredible year and an incredible finish. This is a Give something.